So this is the animation workspace in Krita, and I'm going to just make a very simple object in here. And we are going to use this shape, or this object, this drawing. We're going to use the transform tool to move it about, but we want to animate that. So we need two things. We need to see the animation curves. So we need to go to settings, dockers, and load the animation curves window, which appears behind the animation timeline. Then in my paint layer one, where the object lives, I need to add a transform mask. That's my transform mask. And with my transform mask active, I'm going to set a keyframe. It sets a keyframe on position, scale, rotate, and shear. Now I'm going to go to a different frame, frame 12 for instance, with my transform tool and move my object somewhere else. And as you can see, framing everything with the frame all button, it automatically puts a new keyframe there. Auto keyframe is on by default. So if I then go to frame 24 and move him over here and maybe rotate him a little and also scale him. Now I've got an animation. If I play that, it will first play the first 100 frames. So I want to quickly, and that's now under the three lines here, limit my animation length to say 48. So I'm going to rewind and play. And you see that animates. All the animation is linear by default. So maybe we want the middle keyframes to be spline. So I can grab this keyframe and I can make it a Bezier curve and I can just pull out, whoops, make a Bezier curve and I can just pull out the tangent. And I want the other side also to be a Bezier curve, but for that I have to do the previous one. So I'm going to make this one a Bezier curve as well. Go to this frame and now I can also pull out the handle on this side. So now it's smoothly interpolated and it's doing this in only the position. I can actually turn off all the channels I do not want to look at. So I'm animating my position X. I can zoom in on that. And this is my position Y. I'm going to turn that one on. And I can also zoom in on that and see that's still pretty linear. So let's take this keyframe, make it a Bezier, pull out the handle and make it also nicely smooth. And I can also take this one and pull out the handle the other way and make it a nice ease in and ease out. And on my rotation, I should be able to do the same thing. So I'm going to turn off all the other ones I don't need. I'm just going to look at my rotation, zoom in on it. And there's my rotation. I apparently rotated it in Z, which is weird. But at it. So I rotated it around its center. So I'm going to zoom in on that. And this keyframe key also needs to be a nice vege, which I can pull out to make it. So you make the first, the beginning of the curve keyframe a BG and the whole curve will become a BG from that point till the next keyframe. So now it's much smoother. So that's how you can animate elements using a transform mask. But now I want to change my drawing. So say I'm at frame 12 and I actually want to give him a little nose. So I'm going to take my paint tool and if I draw a nose here, it doesn't work. I'm going to undo that. Why does that not work? Because the drawing has been transformed over to that point, but it still exists in the original position. So if I draw here, I have to be in my paint layer. If I draw here, you see it appears over there because the thing has moved. So I want to temporarily turn off my transform mask with the little eye. Now I can draw a little nose in there turn my transform mark back on and the nose will also transform.
had I been clever enough to draw the nose on frame 1. I draw the nose on frame 40, 45, so my nose appears wherever I put that keyframe. If I want to nose here as well, I need to draw one here as well. I need to turn off the layer mask, draw a nose. Oops, it's the background. And now there will be a nose and it switches to a different nose. Boink. Yay. So you can animate your the objects that you're transforming after the fact, but you just need to turn off your display layer to draw on the original object. Now I want to also color him. I forgot to color him. You can try painting within the lines, which is really hard. You can paint below, but then you have to do it at once because the second paint below will become below the previous paint below. So, but if I add a paint layer and put it below the original paint layer, I can um, color in my object. And then you give him some nice red nose, red mouth. Okay, so say this is the color I wanted, and I don't care about the lines because the lines are actually on top. Now, of course, if I play this with the transform layer visible, the drawing doesn't move with the object. So, how do I get the two drawings to move together? I can take these two and group them. So now there's two, they are in a group together. It's actually Control G to do that or um, right click uh, on the layers and say group. So they're now grouped. Well, they're now transformed together. No, they're still not transformed together. Why? Because the transform mark, mask is still on paint layer one. If I drag that transform mask to be on the group, now they will move together. So to have multiple paint layers move together, they have to be in a group and the mask should be on the group, not on the individual paint layers. So this way you can move your animated drawings around on the canvas in Critter. <laughs>